Hi, this is Cheryl McQueen, guest designer with Del Bellas Designs. Today's tutorial will be part one of a three-part series on how to use vellum paper in card making. This tutorial will show you how to use vellum to create depth while creating a soft, misty appearance to the card. So this is a card that we will be working on today. Let's begin by looking at the supplies. We will be using the following items. We'll be using the Multifarious Smooth and Supreme A6 White Paper. It'll be cut to four and three quarters inches by three and a half inches. We'll be using two sheets of vellum paper. Vellum is a translucent type paper that's great for layering and will really help us to create our depth and smooth, silky, misty kind of look. We will also be using cardstock. We'll use a black one. This one will be cut to five inches by three and three quarter, inch, quarter inches. We'll use a white piece of cardstock cut to five and one quarter by four inches. And then we'll be cutting a black piece of cardstock to five and a half by eight inches. And then we will fold it in half to create our card back. The stamps we'll be using today include the Lavinia Christmas Tree Group LAV021, the Fairy Tree Small, this one is LAV489S, the Lavinia Furry, Fairy Fur Tree 2 Small, and this one is LAV492S. Then we will also be using a sentiment stamp of your choice. Today I'm going to use Happiness Always. We will also be using black archival ink for our stamping. Um, today I'll be using the Ranger Acid Free Permanent Ink. You can also use a great ink that can be found on the Del Bellos Designs website called Versifying Claire Noir. We will also be using Tim Holtz ink, Distress Ink. This one is called Black Soot. Other items that we will use today will include a glue with a fine tip, a fine tip black pen, This one just has a very, very fine end on it. This will help us when we're drawing our backgrounds, um, the landscaping on the card. I'll show you that. We'll also be using some rhinestone embellishments that will be placed in the corners when we finish up our card. Please see below this video for a detailed list of supplies and links to them on the Del Bellos website. Let's get started making our card. Here is a card that I made earlier that, as I showed you before, this is the example of what we're going to use to create our card today. For our first layer, we'll be using the multifarious cardstock. Here is my piece that I have cut to the four and three quarters by three and a half inch size. I'm actually going to go ahead and use my stamping platform so that we can make sure that we get a nice, good, crisp, clean image. So first thing that I'm going to do is place my cardstock on my stamping platform. And then I'm going, the first stamp that I'm going to use is going to be our Christmas tree grouping. What we want to do with this is we want to place this uh, stamp close to the top of the card. So we will place it probably somewhere around in here. And we will close our stamping lid to, oops, 
got to turn this over. I love this uh, particular platform because you can use it for the clear stamps or turn it over on the other side to use your rubber stamps. So let me turn it to the clear side. And we will get our stamp in place. I'm going to take our ink and ink up the surface of our stamp really well. The nice thing about using a stamping platform is if you don't feel like you've got enough ink on the first pass, you can always re-ink and put it back in the exact same spot. And so now we will close it down and press and rub to make sure that we get a nice clean image. Alright, let's see what we've got here. I think I'm going to put a little bit more ink on that. Maybe time to re-ink my pad, but we'll worry about that later. Let's try again to get a little bit more ink on our card. There we go. All right. Now, we're going to move this down just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put a little piece of paper beside because this stamp will go over the edge and I don't want to get ink all over my sticky sheet. So we'll find the spot that we want it to go in. Lay it down and repeat the process. Close our stamper down and press. All right, great image. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close the lid on this for the moment while we do a little bit of work with the landscape. So this is the point that we're going to use our fine tip pen to just draw in a little bit of landscaping, some, add some slopes and some sprigs of grass. So I'm just going to draw in Just a little bit, and, and really just doing some squiggles around, especially around the bases of the trees. Add a few sprigs of grass.
Basically, this just helps us to ground the trees so that they don't look like they're floating around in the middle of the air. I'm going to go ahead and just put in a few more little sprigs around just to give it a little bit more of a realistic look. And really, you don't have to even worry too much about this. Just like I said, a few little squiggles and colorings in there to just give it that little bit of reality. All right. All right, so that takes care of our first layer. So we will remove this layer and set it aside. We're now ready for our first sheet of the vellum paper. So we'll go ahead and place our vellum paper. on our stamper. This is a little bit harder to see once you get it down there so you kind of have to pay attention to your edges. I will go ahead and put another piece of paper there that not only helps me with my edges to see where my edges are but it also helps to make sure that we don't get our base all messy with ink. All right, so with this one, what we want to do is we're going to use our two fairy trees. So I'm going to place this one where about the middle of the stamp is going to be about in the middle between the bottom and the top. So I'm just going to place, whoops, turn the right way, place this one right about here. And then we'll repeat the same process where we will close our stamping platform and ink up the stamp. Now, I don't want to have the great big long tree trunk, so I'm going to go ahead and place a piece of paper down so that when I do the actual stamping, the tree trunk will be a shorter one. Take a look at that. Need a little bit more ink on that, especially on the side. All right. There we go. Much better. All right. Now we will go ahead and move on to our tall tree. So we will remove this short one for the moment and figure out where we want to place this one. I think this one 
I'm going to have just overlap just a tiny little bit. And then we will go ahead and put our paper down to cover up where the length of our trunk is going to be. And get that stuck on and again ink it up. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Ah, good image. All right, and now we're going to put our final tree on. So we'll remove this one. We're going to go back to the other tree. And this one, I think I want to put um, about right here. So again, we will take our mask. Turn it over. <laughs> Get that where we want it to be. Oh, and it looks like my stamping board is just a little messy, so I'm going to grab a paper towel so we can clean that up just a little bit. We don't want to get ink all over our surface of our card here. All right. And now for the final one. Finish the process. Got a little bit on the edge there. So wipe that off so it doesn't transfer onto the paper. And we'll do our final stamp. So now we have finished putting the stamping onto our vellum sheet so we will peel it up and we're going to do the same thing that we did with the previous layer by drawing in our landscaping I'm going to set this aside while we do that so I can see it just a little bit better and so now we're finished with our second layer and already start the third one all right now we're going to set aside our first layer of vellum and work on our third layer so I'm going to go ahead and bring my stamp platform back place my second sheet of vellum down on my 
platform surface. And then we will put on our final stamp. Now with this one, let me see if I can find my bottom edge here so that we make sure we get it where we want it. I'll place that there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one kind of on the far side. And we'll go ahead and mask off just a little bit above the bottom of the vellum piece. And then, let's see, our side piece is right there. So I'm going to go ahead and place that just about right there. All right. We will ink up the surface of our final tree. the final stamp. Ah, and that looks real good too. So now we want to put in our sentiment. Since the sentiment that I have is the rubber stamp instead of the clear polymer stamp, I'm going to change my lid around so it will fit. Okay, my edge is down here where the white paper is, so I want to put this really close. Let me see, here's my edge. I'm going to go ahead and mark that so that I can see it. All right, so I want my sentiment to be just right at the bottom of my vellum. And I'm going to make sure I've got that straight. I'm going to pull it forward here so I can take a look and make sure. And then same process, close my lid. Get that stuck in place and ink it up. Close the lid and Get our sentiment in place. And that is the last of the stamping that we need to do. We'll go ahead and draw the landscaping in one more time on this third layer. You remove my stamping platform as we don't need that anymore and draw in our final little bit of landscaping that grounds our tree here okay so now we have our three layers and we want to go ahead and add some shadowing so what I like to use is a either a little spongy tool like this, or you can use a Q-tip if you'd like, whatever tool you like to use. Basically what we're going to do is just add in a little bit of shadowing around the trees and the hills. So we're going to just get a very little bit on there. Let's start with our card. 
and we're just going to just take a little bit of that dab it on to get some shadowing you don't want it to be real real dark so just kind of barely brush it on just gives us to make sure that we get a little bit of dimension there. Go ahead and bring a little bit of the tree shadows down just a little bit on that one. And now we're going to do the same thing on our vellum pieces. So just a little bit of the shadowing. If you want it to be a little bit longer shadow, so it looks like the sun is coming from a particular angle, you can draw your shadowing out just a little bit. That's hard to see until you place it on top. And then we're going to do our final shadowing on the last piece. Just a little bit right there. All right, so now we're ready to go ahead and start doing some layering. So I'm going to set some of this stuff aside here and work just with these vellum sheets. So as you can see, we created our base sheet and then our second vellum sheet, our first vellum sheet. We're going to lay that on top as you can see when we do that, it shadows out the trees in the back a little bit to make them look like they're in the distance. Now the way that we get those to stick is we just want to use a very, very tiny little drop. And I'm going to clean out my, the tip of mine just a little bit with a straight pin here. So we're going to turn our paper over and put just literally a very tiny little dot in the corner. And I guess I didn't get it cleared out enough. Hold on, let's get this cleared out. There we go. And try again. Just a very tiny little dot in all four corners. Then we're just going to line it up onto the top of our cardstock version. Now, you'll have to excuse me, you're probably going to see my head in the way, but I want to really make sure that I get this lined up just where I want it. Then just lightly dab in the corners to get them to stick down. And now we've got our first layer. We'll now go ahead and do our second layer and then on this one I actually got my tree just a little bit down low, but that's okay. You can kind of see on this one that I had it more of the perfect height up above the little sentiment, but that's okay. We will go with what we've got. Same process. Tiny little dab. and layer this sheet of vellum on top of the others. Of 
So, now what you see when you look at this is your trees that are way in the distance are a little bit lighter because it has two layers of the vellum on it. Then our trees in the mid-range are just a little bit darker, but since they have the final sheet on top, they're still not quite as dark as the one that's on top of it, the, the tree that's on the top layer. All right, so now we're done with that. So we're ready to go ahead and assemble our card. So the first layer that you're going to do is your frame that's with the black cardstock. And you're going to lay your card so that it's centered. And it's kind of hard to see that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a piece of white paper here just so we can see it a little bit easier. Now you can either use your glue or um, the running tape which is what I like to use as some kind of a tape that you can just run along the edges. So we will do that. We will run our tape on the edges, attach it to the first layer. I'm going to pull this down so I can see it just a little bit easier. Center that on our black frame. Now we're going to do the same thing and add it to our white frame. We'll go back to the dark surface so we can see to line it up. Alright, now we've got our double frame there, and we're just ready to go ahead and attach it to the back of our cardstock. And for the final time, use our adhesive. Again, I'm going to use the white background so I can judge it a little bit better for getting it centered. And press that down. Alright, now we are ready to add the final touch which is the little rhinestones. I'm going to probably go ahead and use these. I think this is about a six millimeter size. The reason that we do that is just in case you get a little bit of the glue that shows up in the corners, this will cover it up. You may not get any to show up um, if your glue is a really good clear glue, but I always like to do this just because it even adds just a little bit of sparkle and finished look. So now we're going to put them in our bottom corners. And our final one right down there. And there you go, your card is done. Kind of a nice misty look. I love that look to it. I hope that you enjoyed watching my video tutorial today and that you'll have a fun time creating this card. Um, be sure to check out the DelBellasDesigns.com website for more tutorials on the design team webpage.